Several years ago, a friend gave me this book, A Thousand and One Comics You Must Read Before You Die. And at that time in my life, I was getting a little tired of just reading superhero comics, and this is exactly what I needed. I discovered that there were comics from all over the world that I'd never heard of before, and stuff dating back over 120 years. This was an eye-opener for me, and I'm going to share some of my selections that I consider some of my favorite comics that I found uh, thanks to this book. So I hope that you join me and give some, some new comics a chance. You might be surprised at what you might like. Before diving into this book, 1001 Comics, I hadn't read much manga, and I hadn't read any Tezuka, really. And so, when I saw this at a thrift store, and remembering that it was in this, this book here, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna check it out. This is the first thing I've read of Tezuka, and it's made me a lifelong fan. I have since gone and, and bought everything that has been translated into English, because it, it's all so good. He's a master storyteller. He has fantastic ideas, and, they, and they, he puts them into paper so incredibly well. This book here is the first of an eight-volume set called Buddha, and it chronicles the, the life and times of Siddhartha Gautama, who is better known by the name of Buddha. It's a combination of facts that we know about Buddha and the mythology surrounding his whole philosophy, as well as some fictionalized uh, elements like side characters that come and go that, that Tezuka has, has put into the story to create one giant epic adventure. There's a lot to love here. It's an incredibly well-paced and well-told story. And you don't have to know anything about Buddha, and you don't have to subscribe to his philosophies or anything to, to really enjoy this. It is very educational, but it's also just a great story about how to care about people and how to care about life, which is one of the, the, the common themes throughout pretty much all of Tezuka's work. This first volume is called Capital of Vastu, and it was published and translated by Vertical Incorporated way back in 2006. You can't read these volumes out of order. You do need to start in the first volume and work your way through all eight, but it'll be well worth it if you can find them all. Well worth it. 